The soul system. To many, it is nothing but a yellow jewel that sits on the UCE's crown. To the few that still care to remember, this is home. Mercury, the culmination of humanity's industrial efforts, where ore is mined and refined on a nearly unprecedented scale. This once seemingly barren and unlivable planet has become key to the UCE's production efforts. Venus, once named for the Roman goddess of beauty, sits abandoned and forlorn, a husk of a colony that could have been. Two large-scale efforts were made to colonize the planet, and each met with a failure that rocked the bedrock of UCE society. Today, Venus serves as a stark reminder of the cruel nature of the universe, and a monument to the failures of the UCE. Earth, the birthplace of humanity, stands withered under the weight of its own denizens. The Third World War devastated the planet, leaving large chunks of it uninhabitable and forcing many of humanity's best and brightest to the stars. Earth rests in the hands of the Soul Colonization Authority, a body once meant to rein in the companies that now control so much of the galaxy. The SCA, as they've become known, operates as a seeming puppet to the whim of the UCE, existing only to set Earth apart and to isolate it from the turbulent galaxy around it. Where Venus was one of its greatest failures, Mars was the UCE's greatest success. To this day, Mars remains the second most populated planet in the Sol system and is one of the first examples of successful terraforming. The Red Planet, once dead and barren, has begun to spring to life, with annual rainfalls creating vast rivers and foliage creeping along the surface. The UCE lauds Mars as proof that humanity can come together and do great things. While many argue for the sentimental value of Earth, and the raw production value of Mercury, Jupiter stands out in the Sol system. The gas giant's powerful gravity fields create the perfect conditions for the creation of the interstellar drive systems. Labs orbit the massive planet, constantly producing these drives to supply both military and commercial interests. As such, Jupiter is home to the UCE's Fleet Command Center, the meeting place of the UCE admirals and members of the Jupiter 10 the 10 most powerful corporations in the UCE power structure. Initially, Saturn served a very similar role to that of Jupiter, mass-producing drive systems to satiate the public and military demands to spread among the stars. However, as more and more of these facilities were constructed around Jupiter, Saturn began to attract the attention of those captivated by its massive rings. As such, the labs around Saturn were converted into tourist hotspots and high-class boardrooms, earning Saturn the nickname Sol's Golden Ring. Once a bustling planet for cutting-edge research, Uranus fell out of favor due to its unique magnetic field that often disrupted instruments. Because of this, Uranus is all but a graveyard with only a few active labs orbiting the planet to study it and its magnetic field. Neptune has become known as the poor man's Jupiter, with only a few scattered labs run by small companies who cannot afford the fees to produce drive systems around Jupiter. Sol is the very heart of humanity. Let us not forget that, lest we lose our own heart.